Hello everybody, Squid Vicious here with another Vicious video showing you another travel humidor that I purchased. And this one comes from a company car called Cigar Long with two O's. I was a little bit skeptical in getting this, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and try this out. Okay, and I'll tell you the reason why. If you have not seen a previous video that I made, I purchased one from uh, Play With, it's called. And this had uh, a hygrometer on the top. And if you remember when I opened this thing up, I showed you that it had um, a tray here and it came with a cutter and a dropper. And this little uh, portion here, uh, the top tray here is approximately, let's see, um, about a little about five and three quarters. So you could probably put like, um, you know, maybe a Corona, put some Coronas in here, petite Coronas or something to that effect. But on the bottom of it, it actually has a sponge here that I went ahead and put some cedar strips in and you can put some longer smokes in here and the bottom can hold smokes up to about uh, about eight inches. So you can put your double Coronas in here and you can probably put like a Churchill or something in there. Um, but the problem that I had with this was whenever I use this for about three days, the humidifier, I uh, put some um, distilled water in here. This hygrometer did not move for three days. So I kind of was a little bit bummed out about it. So I, I canned it. Um, and they went ahead and they sent me another one. I did another view on it. Now, the reason why, again, I was so skeptical with this one is because the hygrometers on both of these are nearly, not quite exactly, but nearly identical as far as they look. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to try this anyway. Uh, and I'll show you why I wanted to try it. First of all, Cigar Long. This actually came in three different highlighted colors. I got the orange. They have a red and they have a chrome also. I saw a couple of these that had the uh, whole entire top was a color, but they didn't have it on Amazon at the time. I'm going to show you why I got this and why I was kind of intrigued by it. Uh, this holds 10 sticks. So these trays here, this very, very top tray is about uh, seven and three quarters long. So I could go ahead and maybe put my you know, uh, Churchill's in here, double Coronas, whichever, but this actually comes off and you have a tray underneath here. And I went ahead and just left the cutter in here, my own cutters. It does not come with a cutter or anything. Um, but this tray here is just a little bit shorter than this. Uh, but what it does have is it does have these two humidifiers that are on the side. Now these humidifiers actually have beads in them. So it's not foam and it's not a sponge. So I let these soak for about 15 minutes and this tray on the bottom also comes out. And I went ahead and put a couple of cedar strips in here because, again, this is just plastic. Uh, but this does have some holes that are in the trays to go ahead and allow the smell of the cedar and even some of the humidity to get to the lower, uh, to the upper smokes um, because the upper one also has some of those holes in here, too. But if once you go ahead and do these for about 15 minutes, soak them, put one on each side, put them back in. And then you can go ahead and put the tray on the top. Okay. So once these are in here, I got this centered up pretty good here. Once that's in here, you got to put the tray on the top. I don't think I put this one in on there. And you can go ahead and close this thing up. Now, the one thing that I did, like I said, when I went ahead and put the, um, put the solution I actually had, a, had the, when I put the solution in these and closed this up, the hygrometer, this actually came with five different little holes underneath the hygrometer, which was a problem with the other one, which completely had the hygrometer covered by a sponge. Well, I went ahead and used a cigar punch and I punched four holes in the old one. Not really the old one, but the other one. And the hygrometer here still did not move. This one here, when I received it, the hygrometer was at about 30 percent humidity and i'm gonna tell you right now after eight hours that hygrometer jumped up to about 80 percent so the hygrometer on this works and i'm gonna tell you also that this really does lock in the humidity so if you want to you can actually get a digital hygrometer like i did and put one in here whenever you first do this and compare them both uh when i did that both of the hygrometers the digital one that i put in and this one was uh exactly the same so what i would suggest is once you go ahead and fill the uh humidifiers on the bottom up 
Uh, get a little small uh, digital hygrometer. I got a four pack of this for like eight or nine bucks or something like that. And I just left it in here. I usually do that with all my humidors, the travel humidors, and just close this thing up and wait about eight, eight to 10 hours maybe. And this hygrometer in here does work and this locks in the humidity very, very well. I know it's not cedar lined, um, but remember these uh, travel humidors are mainly for short term storage, not for like weeks at a time. So I didn't really care as long as it kept some of the humidity and it didn't get dried out or something. Uh, this was really, really nice. And I was very surprised at, at the hygrometer that it worked. And I was real happy about that. Not that you necessarily need a hygrometer in a travel case, but if one does come with it, you would expect it to work. So this one works very well. And it does have an area where they're showing you where it should be between like 60 and 80. And you can see if it's too high. And if it is, you just open it up and just like air it out a little bit. But I'll tell you what, this does lock in the humidity very well. And so does the other one. So does the play with. Yeah, the problem is with this one is that the hygrometer, since it did not work, uh, I put a digital one in there. And it was short term anyway. But this holds 10 sticks. It is durable. Um, it does have um, the two trays. Uh, it does not come with a lighter or a cutter or anything like that, which I really didn't care. And this was about 40 to 45 bucks. You can find this online. And I got this on Amazon. Very nice travel humidor. I would recommend it uh, if you want to carry, you know, more than just four sticks because most of them only handle about four or six spokes. Nice humidor and it really locks it in very well. So check it out if you're interested. And, um, Happy smoking to you.